am Bridget Laffin, a professor at the European University Institute in Florence, and the subject of the discourse this evening is Ireland's decisive choice for Europe. The decisive choice for, uh, for Europe was made in 1972 when over 80% of the Irish electorate voted to join the then EEC. I will look at what Ireland has contributed to the EU, but also what we need to pay attention to in future. There are three areas in particular. One, our model of political economy, particularly corporate tax, and how that fits with the way the world is going and the EU is going. Uh, who our allies will be and what alliances we can form, given that the United Kingdom will leave the EU and therefore that's a very different EU for Ireland, the EU of 27. And then finally, how we manage Europe from home. In other words, we're a referendum country. We've had more referendums on Europe than any other country uh, in the EEC, in the EU. And uh, how would we handle another referendum if there's a demand for a quantum leap in European integration? We now find ourselves, at, as we approach the third decade of the 21st century, in a world of disorder rather than order. I think there's been a world of shift and shock Brexit in 2016, the election of Trump in 2016. We now see a geopolitical fight between the Chinese and the United States. So where does Europe lie in this and Ireland within Europe in this? It's a real pleasure to be here this evening to deliver this discourse because I remember vividly 1975, November, Garrett Fitzgerald, then Irish Minister for Foreign Affairs, delivered a lecture on the impact of the EEC on Irish foreign policy. And that was at the start of my uh, career and engagement with the EU as a subject. So it's a closing of the circle that I deliver a discourse on Ireland and its relationship with the EU.